Hey guys, welcome back to some sort of regular schedule content. I hope you enjoy the guest videos over the last few weeks from Valet Pro, Specky McSparren and Pyramid Kake. And I also did that slightly different video on how to childproof your car. So I hope you enjoyed that one, especially for any first time parents or expecting parents. But yeah, this week we're back to some sort of regular content. I was supposed to be doing my cousin's 235 BMW. However, last minute cancellation, so I've got a couple of days or basically just today to get my card. I've got a couple of days free, but I'm just gonna be spending a few hours today to get the pulsar done. It's been neglected over the last couple of weeks, a lot of trips backwards and forwards to the hospital, visiting friends and family. So yeah, today nothing planned as such. Uh, the only thing I do wanna use is the turtle wax cleaner and disinfectant. I might be a bit late to the game on this one. I only received this last week, it got delivered to the office. Um, but everything else is kinda of gonna be using products I've used before. I just really want to get it clean. In an ideal world, I'd have time to take the wheels off and everything. I've been wanting to do a spring detail for a long time, but with all the other cars and everything else, just not have the time. But anyway, enough waffling on as I've got a few hours, it's just gone 10.30 right now. So I've got a few hours to get it clean, get it looking as good as it can and give this a try. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe and let's dive into the detail. Right, it's on to my first detail in a few weeks and first time I gave my car in about a month or so. So yeah, as always, I'm gonna start off with the wheels and give them a rinse down first of all. Here I'm trying something a little bit different and that is applying a wheel cleaner through a snow foam lance. So I'm using Detailed Online's Hypergel and at this stage, this is mixed at a 10 to one. Just see how it goes and yeah, as you can see, it's not all that great, it's not that thick, it doesn't stick around. So we come back and try it again at a five to one mix so a much stronger in fact it was a four to one mix it was 400 mil of water to 100 mil of product and there we go we got much thicker wheel cleaning solution applied i just did this more for speed and something i'm wanting to test out a little bit it doesn't cling amazingly and you probably still need a bottle of product just to pre-soak your brushes on the other wheels i was actually pointing the snow foam gun at the wheel brushes I was cleaning with later anyway. So yeah, that's what we're just trying here. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's any other wheel cleaners you think I should be trying through a snow foam cannon, but yep, something I'm just trying a little bit different. So whilst the wheel cleaner sits there, then I'm gonna spray some all-purpose clean on the tires, get those nice and clean as always before we apply some tire dressing later on. And then yeah, it's a case of just cleaning the wheels as you normally would. I do have to reapply this a couple of times, the wheel cleaner, but that said, I've got 500 ml of product mixed up and it's taken like five seconds to cover a wheel in product. So yeah, it's not really too much of an issue. That's not clinging for ages, but yeah, I'm gonna keep playing about with this. So we'll crack on with the rest of the wheels and move on to the paintwork in a moment. To the pre-wash stage then and as the car wasn't too dirty it was more dusty and things like that i wanted to choose something a bit gentler so i've used the koch chemi gentle snow foam the gsf and this is ridiculously economical it's literally a 50 to 1 dilution ratio so on the bottle it says use 20 mil per one liter of water in my case i've used 10 mil into 500 mil of water so yeah really really economical and you can see it's not the thickest of snow foam however it does cling around for quite some time it also doesn't negatively impact any waxes or sealants you've got on there so you can see from these shots afterwards after I've rinsed the snow foam, I'm still getting some excellent beading from the Dodo Juice Shinecraft wax that I applied probably three or four months prior to this. So one, it shows that this snow foam isn't really affecting the wax too much. And two, it shows just how good that Dodo Juice wax is right there. So yeah, I went around the entire car, let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll crack onto the wash stage. So 
So for the shampoo then we're using Stiana Gloss Bubbler. It feels like it's been quite some time since I last used this, especially on my own car. And the wash mitt we've got here is the Work Stuff wash mitt and this is ridiculous. It drinks the water out of your bucket. So yeah, be prepared to keep topping up the wash solution. Also one little tip as well is before you go ahead and wash the car, obviously apply your shampoo into the bucket, fill up with water and all of that jazz. And then just dip in your pressure washer just to get some extra suds and it just helps lubricate the paintwork and also encapsulate the dirt and lift it away when you do come to rinsing it later on. So I know I say this every time, but if you're new to this channel and you're just getting into detailing, just work in a methodical manner. I typically start off with the windows first and then just work top down. So I'll do the bonnet and then the roof and then just work around in a clockwise manner. So with the top of the doors, the boot, the other side, and then the mid section of the doors, the lower part of the boot, the other side, and then the lowers of the doors with a different wash mitt, the lower of the rear bumper, the other side, and then the lower of the front bumper as well. And once you've done all that, give it a rinse off, jobs are good in, and run to the drying stage. Before we do get round to the drying stage, I'd just like to say if you're enjoying this video, then please make sure you smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to this channel already and you want more content like this, please do consider subscribing as well. Also, click the bell icon to get instant notifications. So, yeah, with that little bit out of the way, let's dry the car. So often for drying, I will just towel dry it and just get the blower out for the shuts and the gaps. But yeah, the beading was amazing and it was quite a warm day, so I didn't want to risk any water spotting. So I made sure the car stayed wet, which sounds daft and then just dried it with the blow air gt and i'm using the wider nozzle here on the big panels just to try and get a lot of the water off as quickly as possible one tip that you might have seen from one of the guest videos from Speck and McSporin is when you're drying, also have a towel in another hand as well, just so you can collect any water. Otherwise, sometimes you can be chasing water all over the car. So yeah, blow dry with one hand and then collect the runoff water with a towel in another hand. Before we finish this segment, a lot of people do message me on Instagram asking if I would actually recommend these. And yes, I've actually purchased this out of my own pocket. And these are ideal, even if it's just for blowing out the wheels, the grills, the windows, and all the nooks and crannies where water does gather. And you know, when you come later on to close the boot or you move the car, that you turn it around, you end up with water drops coming down. So you've dried the car with a towel, but then you still end up with water dribbling down. That's where this comes in. So yeah, if you're in the market for one and you're not sure, I'd definitely recommend getting one. So yeah. Check out Clean and Shiny as well if you're interested in the Blow. This is what I'm using to say is the Blow Air GT. It's not sponsored. As I say, I'll pay for this out of my own pocket. With all that said, let's crack on to the next bit. So as you can probably tell with some of the shots, it's quite a sunny day. And in fact, it was absolutely red hot. And at this stage, this is probably where I messed up and done what you really shouldn't be doing in direct sunlight. And I've decided to go ahead and give it a quick detail wipe down. So first of all, I thought I'll try Wellworld's Quick Detailer that's smeared and streets like crazy no fault of the product whatsoever just me trying to use a product when the panels are far too hot so i'm just leaving these shots in there to show you that yep we all make mistakes after this i then tried sonax brilliant shine detailer i have no idea what i was thinking because a lot of people you will see a lot of reviews saying how it can be quite grabby so why i thought that would work on a red hot panel i don't know in the end the product that i found worked the best for me especially with a warm panel was dodo juice red mist this is a product i've used for probably near enough 10 years now i've absolutely loved this product i've always had a bottle on my shelf and again this is not me promoting it or anything like that dodo juice don't even know i'm talking about this right now but yeah, on the warmer panels, that one seemed to work the best. It didn't evaporate as quick as the other two and it stuck around for a long time. So you could actually work it a little bit and do what you needed to do with it. Now, is it a quick detailer? I'm not quite sure. It's classed as a like spray protection product, but that's what I ended up using in the end. But really the key here is you don't want to be doing this kind of work in direct sunlight and on red hot panels. So yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. Wait till it cools down later in the day or park in the shade. So to 
finished the exterior of the car, then it was onto the glass and the tires. So here I'm using Go Detailing's glass cleaner and kind of similar to the Dodo Juice Red Mist, this one seems to work a little bit longer than some others. It doesn't flash off and evaporate straight away. So it just gave me a little bit more work time in these warmer conditions. And the microfiber towel that I'm using there is the Yum Cars glass towel. So really do like that and it's very, very smear and streak free. And that also applies to the products as well. It does a cracking job of cleaning and it leaves no smearing afterwards. For the tyres, just to keep on mixing it up with all the brands that I'm using, I went ahead with the Valet Pro Maximum Shine Tire Gel and using another Workstuff product, the Workstuff Tire Applicator, just apply that around all the tyre walls, get a nice glossy finish. And this normally lasts a couple of weeks, in fact we did a tyre dressing comparison video which I'll put in the top corner now for you, and you can see how well that lasted and how it performed. We all want different things, this is a bit of a glossier kind of tyre shine, um, sometimes you want a matte finish or a satin finish, this one was quite glossy, so I thought I'll use that, have some nice shiny tyres for a few weeks and we'll try something else next time. So with the exterior done then it's on to giving the interior clean and as you can imagine I don't really let it get in too much of state anyway however there was a few areas with a little bit of mud here and there and it cleaned it up nice and easy and being a cleaner and disinfectant you can also use its sanitized surfaces as well so if you are a taxi driver or you know maybe a bus driver something like that you've got people coming in and out of your car or your vehicle all day you can use this to safely sanitize and it does cover against coronavirus as well so really nice that companies like turtle wax are developing these kind of products also worth mentioning it doesn't leave a greasy or a sticky residue afterwards in fact it feels like you've not gone over it with anything at all things are just cleaner now so yeah absolutely cracking product to use i'll be using this a lot more in the future so yeah make sure you check that out they've, they've just launched in the uk so with this out of the way let's get back into the garage Right, so there I have it then, as you can tell, it turned out to be a red hot day. So it started off quite cloudy and a little bit humid, um, but then yeah, halfway through the wash stage, the sun come out. So yeah, apologies, I am sweating on camera. So there's not much you can do about that, it's just turned red hot. So as I said at the beginning then, I was just gonna pick up random products and yeah, whatever took my fancy. So I started off, I wanted to, basically I've been thinking of the idea for a couple of weeks now of using the snow foam lights to apply a wheel cleaner and I thought well I'll use the Auto Fanatics wheel shampoo it's now up there I'm just looking at it because I couldn't find it earlier instead I went with the detailed online hypergel so start with I try this at a 10 to 1 mix like you would a snow foam not really thick enough so I use this at a 5 to 1 mix so 500 ml of water 100 ml of this not quite thick results however I went through the whole mixture that I made some 600 ml 150 ml per wheel which means you would go through a bottle like this in just five washes. Um, maybe not the most cost effective way and it certainly didn't cling around that long either. So there may be no benefit, I might need to find the right wheel shampoo to do that. If you know any that might be good enough, good recommendations. Other than Garage Therapy's one wheel shampoo, which I'm gonna give that a try, let me know. And also let me know, do you need to dilute them? Would I use it neat? This one, like I said, I think I'm gonna use this neat and then do the adjustments on the dial on top of the snow foam lance. Yeah, just another way of speeding up the wheel cleaning process, really. So then we wash the car and all of that in the usual manner. I use bubble oil from Sienna Gloss with the shampoo. 
dried it off with the Blow Air GT from Clean and Shiny, um, and then just went round with Go Glass Cleaner, um, Valet Pro's Tire Shine, um, I forgot what it's called, Maximum Tire Shine, if I remember correctly. And then, well, before the glass and tire, I went around with some quick detailer to remove any final water spot in the wear any. And that's what I've got just here. So we'll quickly go through each of these ones. So I'll start off with the Wowo's quick detailer because I've not used it, and as I said, the temperature just rocketed. So not the perfect weather to be doing this in. And this just kind of smeared. I think the temperature didn't help anything. I don't. I think no matter what I used, would have been a bit of a mess. So it was a bit smeary. Again, I'm not blaming the product at all. I'm not blaming any of these products. It's my fault, it's the temperature. Um, so I'll be looking forward to trying this again because it was actually the first time of trying it. And I meant to use it before in a previous video and never actually got around to it. So next extreme, I think I was just putting myself through a torch here. I know this is grabby. In the best of conditions, it's grabby. Why I decided to try this on a red hot day, I have no idea. Won't be doing that again. I know people dilute this down with water 50-50 mix. I'll give that a try. Um, so yeah, that didn't work in this heat. Now, Dodo Juice, Red Mist, I love this stuff. This one kind of did work in the sense that it didn't evaporate straight away. Sprayed it on and you could see where I'd sprayed it. It hung around for a little while, so it, gave you, so it gave me a little time to actually work it. Now, is it a quick detailer? Probably not, it's more of a protection detailer. Um, so yeah, a bit of a tricky one, but it was able to work out. I could use it as a wax topper upper. <laughs> we didn't remove all the water spotting. So yeah, like I said, whatever I used wasn't gonna be the right thing today for me. It was just far too hot to be using any kind of products like this. And the only way to avoid that really is either get your car inside a garage or if you've got an awning, a gazebo, something like that, get it into the shade if you can. Um, or do the shaded side of the car, spin it round and then wait for the side that you've just put into the shade to cool down and then and then work it that way so that's the only other way of doing it and then finally went onto the turtle wax cleaner and disinfectant the multi-purpose cleaner and disinfectant yep just use this as a regular interior cleaner i didn't get lots of shots for you guys so apologies on that but it did do a really good job of cleaning Larry over at Ammo NYC does have one of these fancy doodah gadgets where you can check the microbes and the germs before and after. I don't have anything like that unfortunately, so we have to trust that their claim of killing basically cold and flu viruses, H1N1, influenza A, coronavirus, rotavirus and norovirus. I kind of trust that they, you know, they know what they're talking about and that it does work. Uh, it's 24 hour surface sanitizing action as well, so once you apply this you're good for 24 hours in the vehicle. So. You know, if you are a taxi driver or anything where you're going to be carrying passengers, Uber, any other ride share, things like that, keep a bottle of that in in the back and then just disinfect it once a day at the beginning of your shift. Jobs are good. So as I said at the beginning, then this is the start of regular scheduled content again. So glad to be back and it's been nice to detail a car for the first time in ages. And in fact, tomorrow I've got the mother-in-law wanting hers done. So two cars in one weekend. Lucky me. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to smash that like button and also don't forget to consider subscribing to this channel as well. It really does help us out. You can also check us out on Instagram as well at Detail World Official, and I'm on there for behind the scenes at Random Set. We'll also be getting Jeff in more videos soon and keep an eye out as well for the Arbor of Norway pressure washers, the reviews that I've got to do on all of those as well. Finally, I'm going to put a link just here where you can subscribe to us and a couple of videos here and here that we think you might like. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one.